Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with these three Matchbox trucks. And uh, they're a gift from my friend Anthony Bolini. So thank you very much, Tony. As soon as I saw them, I wanted to do them all at the same time. Because uh, they look like they've been together for quite a while. They came all the way from Michigan. And I want to have the three, the two together. The first one is a petrol tanker. And uh, it's definitely seen better days. Uh, it's got all the wheels. The cabin still clicks. But uh, it's got a bit of a headache. And obviously he hasn't got a tanker. So I'm going to have to build a tanker myself. This next one is a great spreader. And it's absolutely my favorite of them three. Uh, don't ask me why. I really like it. One of the tires is missing. And the other one looks like it's been through a volcano. The window is also melted, and uh, this one has got backache, so we'll have to sort all that out. As for this one, it's a tipper, and uh, it still works, but his ass is missing, so I'll have to build one. But at least he's got all the wheels, with a bit of rust, and uh, just a tiny bit of headache. So I'm going to crack on, because there's three of them. So let's do it. The first thing that I'm going to do is take them all apart. And uh, the footage of this video is two and a half hours long. So I'm just going to skip some parts that I do all the time, or go fast through others that you've seen so many times, so I can concentrate in the most important things that they'll be different in this video. I need to straighten this ding, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, I'm just going to use a bit of wood and uh, a bit of persuasion. The chassis also needs sorting out, because there's a tiny bit of a ding in there, so I'm just going to use my pluggies for that. I need to straighten the cabin on this one, but I don't want to just hammer and get rid of all details, so I'm using some leather, so it's a bit soft, and I'm going to put this piece of wood inside, and the other piece of leather on top, and just hit it gently until I've got the shape back. I 
I need to build the rear panel for the tipper and for that I'm just going to use some tubing, uh, some styrene and a few sewing uh, pins. To make the relief or the pattern, whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to use some thin strips of plastic. For the hinge, I'm going to use some tubing and some sewing pins that I've already cut to size. The window unit on this one was melted, so I'm gonna do some templates out of the uh, masking tape and uh, then I'll use some clear plastic. For the color, obviously, I'm gonna try to match the original. I need to get rid of the roost and straighten the axles. And for the tires, I'm using shoe polish as usual. The wheels in this one are pretty bad. In fact, I only have like two and a half. So I'm gonna reuse the same axles but I'm gonna pull super fast wheels. At the end of the day, there was a version with super fast wheels. And uh, believe it or not, I've got every other size of wheels apart from these ones.
I've painted the back of the windows in green, uh, not because I like it, but because the original were green. And as you can see, I left uh, two tabs in there, and that's where I'm gonna glue into the cabin. I'm gonna start putting it together because uh, I've got quite a few parts and I still need to fabricate the tank. Two done, one to go. Time to build a tank now, and I'm gonna use this piece of plastic, which is from some uh, tapas. The salami would have been salty, and uh, it's not the best plastic, but it's the only thing I've got at the moment because I got very, very little styrene. I'm making a couple of notches so they fit on the pivots. What I'm doing here basically is just uh, taking measurements over the car itself and then I'll just bend the plastic uh, at that line. Once I've got all the size done and I'm happy with it, I put a bit of tape holding them on top and now I'm gonna put another strip of plastic which is where the leads are gonna sit. I've taped the tank onto the base and uh, I've glued another couple of pieces of plastic for the front and back and put more tape and glue and uh, leave it overnight. And uh, after that, I just need to trim the excess. And uh, after a bit of sanding, and more glue, this is what I've got.
I'm gonna give you a coat of primer and see where I am at the moment. For the leads that goes on top of the tank, I'm gonna use some of these metal studs and I'm just gonna cut the prongs and just glue it on top. I'm quite pleased with that, so more primer, more sanding, I'm ready for paint. And uh, of course I'm painting the base in green and the tank in white. Where's the footage from the tank? I've no idea. So while the paint is drying, I'm just gonna add some detail to one of the cabins. I've made some decals at my friends, but I think it's running low on ink, because uh, the decals are a bit dark actually. And I've got to say that I'm really, really happy with the result. I didn't think it was gonna look that good. I mean, it probably could look better if I had some uh, styrene or a different plastic, but to be honest, I really like it. So now I'm just gonna glue it into the chassis. So there you go. Thanks a lot, Tony. I've really enjoyed doing these uh, three lorries. Absolutely love them. This one was quite easy, it was only a new paint job and of course the back of the lorry and it works. This one is my favorite of the three. I've made some new green tinted windows and uh, also had to change the wheels for super fast, but I think they look alright. And uh, yeah, there was a ding on the back, and obviously new paint job, and I absolutely love it. On this one, I went a bit crazy, and I built the tank from scratch. Uh, I think it looks alright. It probably could look better, but phew, I've done my best. Uh, also paint the base and it went really dark for some reason and somehow I managed to chip the corner. I have no idea but it's gonna stay lava. And that's enough for today. Three lorries in one video. Not bad. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like button, leave a comment and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.